Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I compiled a bunch of outfits for you for the spring fashion with some trends and recent hauls. It's all about updating your wardrobe when styling for spring. What I have done was shop for items that I could wear year rounds and make sure you clean out your closet. It's spring cleaning. Lately, I've been into sheer tops. They are lights and you can add layers like a tank top or a jacket when it gets cold out. We don't need love. Everyone should have at least one pair of colored pants. It's all about standing out and mixing with one to two colors. We don't need I added on dainty jewelry pieces and a low pair of pumps to keep this whole look more polished. These are the best bang for your buck because they are so comfortable to wear. To complete this look, I paired it off with this color blocking clutch bag. It's so easy to do if you want to learn how. I love the fact that it's playful with unexpected ostrich embossed detailing of the purse. This outfit is for anyone who wants to play with a tiny bit of print. You can wear accessories with print or a pair of shoes like me. Since I'm wearing flats, I decided to tuck in my blouse to elongate my legs. A fitted short blazer to keep myself looking tall, which I'm totally not. I wear this look out for work and for a night outing with the friends. Back in style, the cropped straight leg. I think it's chic and tailored. Try and fun print patterns or a punch of color. For accessories again, I'm wearing simple dainty jewelry with a nice huge cage cuff. You already know, I always buy basic tops. This one is sheer, so I decided to play with the bandeau look. Instead of exposing your skin, use it as like a cover-up with a pop of color. Now this is a look that you can try with crop pants. Add some sass to your style. Lace color in any color of your choice, white, pink, or black. I add on a colored necklace over my crop loose top that has buttons on the back, which I think is super cute. Color blocking is an ongoing trend still. I added cobalt blue to color black with my rosy bottoms. I kept the black as my anchor color to work well with the pink, blue, and rose mixture. Floral, I always think of spring. It never goes out of style. As you can see, I love jewelry in geometric shapes. It's not bulky and modern. This look is perfect for those sunny days out. Me and my love for sheer tops. This is a crop top where I can play around with layering again. If you live in the East Coast, then you know that it could be extremely hot to extremely cold in a day. I think everyone should have a pair of white pants because it can help brighten up your whole outfit. If you are tall, flats will look perfect with this look. Me being 5'3", platforms are my best buddy with ankle pants. Of the day. Work into your wardrobe with print tops, dots, florals, or abstract designs. These dots has a retro feel with these horizontal pleats, and I love the zipper in the back. The top on its own looks great without jewelry, but for me, I wanted to add a little spice, so I layer it with this statement necklace, a pair of shorts, and studded belt. For a cool night, keep your winter cardigans for added warmth. Mix pastel colors together for a girly vibe. Wear ankle boots with slim fit pants, shorts, or skirt. It can dress up a casual outfit. I'm carrying a clutch to sub in for a regular bag. Try in different colors and fabrics. This year, pastel colors are bolder than ever. I went with my favorite color trend, mint green. I mentioned before that you can mix pastel colors together. You can pair these hues like mint green with neutrals. Your grays, white, brown, nude, or even black. When mixing colors together, I like to choose clothes with clean lines to balance solid on solid. 
I use neutrals as my accessories from the shorts, shoes, and handbag. The lavender is the new addition to this handbag to mix bold pastel colors together for a bright sunny day out. White reminds me of spring cleaning. It's fresh and lightweight feel. Adding pendants for a bohemian feel with a sheer scarf from my buddy April from Christmas. I'm wearing my white knit dress that you may have seen before in a past video. I love this dress, it's not constricting and retro. Wrapping a belt over a loose cardigan gives a waistline when adding layers. I added a chain link handbag to keep it sophisticated. For this look, I can go in different directions with the shoes I wear, either with sandals for a relaxed look or boots to be edgy. It also depends where I'm going, on an event that is casual or a night out. My favorite ongoing trend of last year are pleats. I searched for pleats in a softer hue instead of black or neon this time around. I found this chiffon dress and I just love it. You can wear it in many ways. Since you know that I'm sure, I have to wear platforms with these because it's a pretty long dress. Spice it up by adding asymmetrical lining to the dress and peplum style as the trend. Using a belt to pull the ruffles together. I lift up my skirt to tuck in under the belt to anchor. Taking the classic elements of ruffles, peplums, and sheer fabrics for a structured drama, but it's still feminine while I'm adding these rings. One of my favorite pieces that I've made so far is this inspired Dolce Cabana scarf fold-over clutch bag. I love the pattern and the mixture of pastel and neon orange with this. Fabrics rating with a shine or opalescence is not just for nighttime anymore. You can wear it in the daytime with other neutrals. Silver, bronze, or gold that are super wearable in thin straps are very trendy this year too. High waistlines are a central key item. Play with prints. It can polish any top that you have for dates and work. Cute earrings and ring bands for simplicity with a pocket blouse. I like the way it's very light linen feeling and I tuck it in into my pencil skirt. Add a pop of color with this sporty belt. Wear a satchel bag or play around with fringe. Print pants are not the easiest to pull off, so I decided to go with leggings. It's something I can wear and it won't be outdated too soon. If you're wearing leggings, make sure to cover your derriere with a longer top. Leggings are always best with heels. Legs are the focal point of the outfit, so tone down the rest of your look. For the last and final look, it's an easy outfit idea that you can do yourself. Wearing a bold skirt. You can wear it for work, weekend, or going out. For this look, it's a weekend look. I have on a button-up shirt for a laid-back vibe with a cardigan, rich brown accessories such as belts and boots to complete the look. Be inspired and see you guys soon.